Hey guys, so Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be another edition of Shop My Stash. I believe this is number 22. I'm never right when I say that, but I think this is number 22. You guys will see it in the title, whatever number it is. But this is another edition of Shop My Stash again. But if you guys do not know what that is, basically I go through my makeup products to see any products that I may be neglecting that I just haven't used in a while, any products that are new that I really need to crack open and start using for reviews and tutorials, or any products that are really low, really close to the end, and I'm like, you know what, I just need to get this out of my makeup collection and make room for it. So that's what this video is, a nice mixture of different products, me really shopping my own makeup stash. You guys know I love to shop outside of my makeup stash, but this is a video about really using those products that I haul. If you guys missed haul week, then definitely check that out. I have an entire playlist of five haul videos I did in one week. If you missed those videos, definitely check out the link above. I will put a link to the playlist. You really should watch those videos. A lot of these products have come from haul week, and a lot of the videos that I have coming for you guys will be coming from a lot of the products that I hauled during haul week. So definitely check that playlist out if you have not and while we're talking about checking stuff out you might as well go ahead and subscribe go ahead and subscribe to my channel and join the family I would definitely appreciate it it's free and it makes me smile also give this video a like thumbs up and make sure your notifications are on but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the products that I will be using over the next month all right, you guys, so as I mentioned before, I have a really good mix of products here. These are products that are new that came from my um, my haul week videos and uh, previous hauls as well. And then these are also products that are old that have been in my collection that I'm breaking back out for the fall. All types of fun little products that I have in this video. So we're going to start with the first one. This is a newer product. This is a product that I did haul during haul week. And this is the Wowder Powder by Glossier. I have not been able to use this powder yet, but I definitely cannot wait to break it open. And see Jackie, that's Miss Jackie Ina. She was talking about this powder in her videos and really talked highly of it. So anything I see Jackie recommends, I definitely would like to try. So I went ahead and picked this up. Keeping up with the theme of loose powders, I also have these two Beauty Bakery Flower, I think that's what they're called, Flower Setting Powders. So I have them in translucent and also in the yellow. I actually have the yellow underneath my eyes today and it's doing quite well so far. So I am going to be trying these over the next month to see how I like them. And if you guys want to see this or any of these products in a more secluded video, so maybe a review, a tutorial, just let me know and I will definitely try to get those out for you. So let's go into some products that are actually close to the end. I have three of those products here. The first two are primers. One is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I actually really like this primer on days that I feel really, really dry. So um, I actually use this quite a bit. And this one is just a little tiny baby size. It's a brand new one. So I want to go ahead and use it up to get it out of my collection. And then I also have this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. This is one of my favorites. I talk to you guys about this all the time. This is very, very close to the end. So I just want to go ahead, put it out of its misery and get rid of it. Then this product here is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This is the little baby size and as you can see it is so close, close, close to the bottom. So I am definitely going to finish this up this month. I'm just ready to be done and just finish it up. Um, I just want this out of my collection. Not that I don't like Fix Spray fix plus spray because I do but this has been like halfway and very close to the end for such a long time I'm just ready to be done with it I have another fix plus spray on deck so I'm ready to get this one out of here I'm about to be all over the place in this video y'all so I'm apologizing in advance but we're gonna move back into some new products so I want to go with two stick foundations that I actually just recently got this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation and this is so unique because it is actually a stick foundation on one side and I actually have the stick foundation on my face today but it's a stick foundation on one side and I'm in the shade number four and then on the other side you have a contour stick 
So if you would like to cream contour, this makes it very easy for travel. You can use your stick foundation and then turn it right around and have your contour shade. So I thought this was a very novel idea and I love products that, that are just a little different and make traveling and storage easier. So I'm definitely excited to use the contour shade and also see how this foundation works a little better. I just put it on maybe an hour ago and it looks really good right now. But of course, you guys know, as the day goes on, foundations tend to do things that sometimes we don't like. I'm hoping this doesn't, but I'm going to keep wearing it and we'll see. Another stick foundation and another new product that I have is the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. So I have this one in the shade number 11, Koa, and it's like the perfect shade for me to be quite honest. I have been obsessed with concealer with foundation sticks lately, so I'm very excited to try this one as well. I also just ordered the new NARS foundation stick, so that's coming. So we have a lot of stick foundations coming up in our future, okay? Let's switch gears and move back into an oldie but goodie product. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is a staple pretty much in everyone's makeup collection. As you can see, I've definitely hit pan on it, but this is one of those products that you can literally have forever. Like, I feel like I will never get through an entire jar of pomade. So I just pulled it back out. I haven't used it in a while. And a quick tip, if this ever goes dry, like if you have any of these pomades and they ever go dry, just put like a literally a drop of olive oil, coconut oil, almond oil, your favorite oil. Just put a drop inside of it. Go ahead and stir it up and it'll be good as new. Don't ever buy a new pomade. Literally, that's all you have to do and it'll work perfectly. Let's do another oldie but goodie. This is the Too Faced Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection Contour Palette. This is probably my favorite contour palette out of all of them that I own. You guys know I own a lot of them. And this shade right here is just absolutely perfect. I'm wearing it on my face today. My cheekbones look amazing. It's not too warm. It's not too, too ashy or too cool. But it's just such the beautiful, beautiful shade. I absolutely love the shade to contour with. And then this palette is so amazing because it also comes with this yellow shade here that you can go ahead and set your under eye concealer with as well. I don't use that as much, but the contour shade is just absolutely amazing. And it definitely smells like chocolate. So you guys know Too Faced is great with those smells and this definitely smells like chocolate. Back to new products, I have two eyeshadow palettes here. The first is an Inglot palette that I made. These are my very first Inglot shadows and I have not gotten a chance to use them yet. So I got these four shades right here and it's just a black, a burgundy, like a light champagne gold and then a deep matte brown. So those are the shades that I got. I think these will be great for like a nighttime look, a really smoky nighttime look. These are actually just really nice accent colors as well. So when I go travel, I can take this along with a nice shimmery palette and you'll have all the shades that you need. So the last eyeshadow palette that I have is this ColourPop palette. I'm wearing this on my eyes today as well. This is the Femme Rosa Carucci and ColourPop She Palette. So this palette is very hot in the streets. Like it continues to get sold out, but I was happy to get my hands on it. And isn't she a beauty? I am wearing this like bottom row right here. So I'm wearing this purple shade like on my outer corner and this shade right here in my crease. And then I am wearing this shade in the corner on my lids and oh my God, I am just in love with this palette. I'm in love with the pigmentation. It's true ColourPop pigmentation, like just amazing, amazing quality. This is my first time actually trying their pressed shadows and I'm so impressed. Like I don't even wanna go back to the other shadows because they're like single pans. I want these pressed shadows in a palette like that is what I want so I'm, I'm just so impressed with these shadows and for the price you cannot beat ColourPop at all. So the last newer product that I have here is the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. This is an illuminating setting spray so just supposed to give you a nice little glow, a nice little dew. I'm actually wearing this on my face today as well and I actually really like it. You guys know I don't really go for the glow and the dew as much just because I'm very oily but I actually really like this setting spray. I'm not going anywhere today granted so I mean, we'll see how it works against the elements and in everyday life, 
but for filming honey uh, she's nice right now so I'll keep you guys posted on this one I have one highlighter today and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera illuminator this was my favorite out of all of the highlighters that she came out with I just think this highlighter is so amazing it's like a cool toned highlighter and I'm wearing this on my face as well gives a really really beautiful glow sometimes you get sick of those gold highlighters you know we have so many gold highlighters and sometimes you just get sick of them and you want a different color so this gives you that option to just have a nice it's like a cool toned copper penny color just very very gorgeous and very very wet looking on the skin like I just really love how it looks gives a nice sheen the glitter isn't chunky or anything like that you actually can't really see any glitter in it yeah you can't even really see any glitter in it it's just a really nice sheen on the cheeks so and lastly I have two lip products here the first one is one I'm wearing today and this is by colored rain and it is the shade swerve I figured since fall time was a coming I would go ahead and deepen my lips and this is like my first video with a fall lip so I am loving this it also kind of went with my little top here so I'm really loving this color and I will probably be wearing this throughout the next four or five six months and last but not least I have Ofer Cosmetics in the shade Nina this is one of their liquid lipsticks one of the most comfortable liquid lipstick formulas hands down this one's actually really really nice so I love this color and again I'll probably be wearing this all winter long okay you guys so those are the products that I will be wearing and incorporating in my makeup routine throughout the next month I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspires you to go through your stashes I'll be talking to y'all in the comments and I know some of you have some rather large makeup collections as well so it's really nice to go through your things instead of continuing to buy things it's really nice to go through your own makeup collection of things that you already have that you've already spent your money on and use them try to use them up try to pan them I think in 2018 I'm going to do one of those project pan videos where I choose products at the beginning of the year to try to literally get rid of a lot of makeup and really focus on those products for 2018 because I just have so much stuff and I waste so much product and so much money and I just really would like to use the things that I have. I mean a lot of people are really happy with the gifts that I give them but I like to use the stuff for myself you know. So I'm really going to start focusing on using my products. But anyway, that is it for this video. Please, again, don't forget to subscribe and also like thumbs up this video. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and also my Facebook fan page. That is the easiest and best way to keep up with me in between uploads. I am very, very active on my social media. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.